When we think about this, I think everybody feels like it's going to be a quarterback. Are there any other positions, any other plans there with that pick? Well, Scott, when you look at the Colts' success over the past 20 years, that was built upon number one overall draft picks, quarterbacks. Peyton Manning and Andrew Luck. And there are plenty of football fans and experts who think the Colts need to go get their next franchise quarterback in this year's draft right now, even if they have to move up in the draft to get him. It would be easy for us just to take one to get y'all off our. But he's, we got to be right. We got to be right. And we want to be right. So we'll do our due diligence, and at the end of the day, we'll take who we think is the best player. Whoever that guy is back there throwing it, you got to adjust to him. you got to build the offense around the quarterback first and foremost. You can't be stuck in your ways of, hey, this is the system we run or whatever it is. Like, you got to be able to adapt to that guy. And not only that guy, it's all the players around him, the receivers, the tight ends, put those guys in position to make plays. Like, this is what's great right now. Everybody has just automatically stamped that you've got to move up to one to get it right. I, I don't know if I agree with that. I don't. And But that's going to be the narrative. And that's okay. Y'all got to write something. You got to keep the news flowing. So, but I don't necessarily know if that's the, I don't know if that's the, the right course of business. If, when we meet as a staff and we say, okay, this is what we need to do. This is the guy for the next 10 to 15 years and we think he's the right guy. Sure, we'll do it, but who's to say we won't get one at four? How much of a head coach's success is dependent on who your quarterback is? I mean, it's a big part of it. Is, the, is it the end-all, be-all? No, but it is a big part of it. I mean, obviously, the, every, every single position is important on this team, and it's not just the quarterback. And speaking of the quarterback, the Colts still have Matt Ryan on the roster for $35 million next season. But if they cut Ryan before March 17th, they can save $17 million on the salary cap. Colts general manager Chris Ballard said they'll start looking at that issue next week. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what they do with Matt Ryan. All right, let's go back to our new head coach, uh, Shane Steichen. He's been on the job a couple of weeks now. How are things going in terms of filling out the rest of his coaching staff? Shane Steichen said he's closing in on filling out his staff. In fact, he today confirmed that defensive coordinator Gus Bradley will return next season. And Colts fans, I think, will be happy to hear this. Reggie Wayne is also coming back as wide receivers coach.